I'm standing next to the X-ray band cone assembly uh, for the big 70 meter DSS 43. It's currently down on the ground being refitted with a new 80 kilowatt transmitter. You don't often get to see this <laughs> so, uh, unless you're dangling from an antenna. But what it does show, it shows the, the feed horn here. It does have a cover on it. Normally that's a captain window uh, that passes RF. And above it, we have the dichroic plate or mirror. What this allows us to do is to reflect and pass frequencies. The 70 meter antenna only has one focal point. So when we're, when we're actually supporting spacecraft with two bands, Sierra band and X-ray band, what this allows us to do is use the same beam and the same focal point, comes down, hits the mirror. If it's X-ray band, it will pass through it into the feed cone. If it's Sierra band, it's reflected off onto another mirror and into the Sierra band cone. So this allows us to do uh, the two bands on 43. It does generate a little bit of noise and this mirror is actually retracted if the supports are purely x-ray band. There's no, no point adding more noise for the sake of it. This footage was taken before the refit and shows a Sierra band cone with the mirror sitting above it. The RF is reflected from the dichroic over the X onto that mirror. This shows the three cones attached to the central hub.